Right, good morning everybody. Nice to see you. It's Keith from the Keith Speaking Academy. Good to see you here. Thank you for joining me. And if you're on YouTube, well, it's English speaking success. Great. We're going to turn that off as we move in. Welcome today. We're going to be looking at the exciting topic of, well, social media. Lots of interesting stuff, lots of great language, idioms, debates, some listening activities, all of that coming right after, well, right after this. Hello there, good morning, nice to see you. How are you doing? Really? That's great. I'm doing fine as well. Well, really exciting to be joining you today on this really thrilling topic of social media, all about social media and you, right? So um, what we're going to do, let me show you actually what we're going to have a look at today. Social media and you, that's the topic, right? These are the things we're going to look at. <clears throat> We're going to look at, do you like how I coordinate this and this artistic design, right? We're going to look at some posting. I'm going to ask you to post on a special wall I've set up for today so we can actually see social media in action. Um, in addition, we'll be looking at some kind of interesting vocabulary to talk about social media. And we'll have a debate, actually, on the pros and cons the advantages and disadvantages, the benefits and the drawbacks, the positives and the negatives, the good points and the bad points of social media, because it's quite a controversial topic, right? Great. After that, we've got a listening task. We're going to do lots of listening practice today. I'll really, um, you know, put you on the hot spot or on the hot seat and see how you do. Then we've got a few idioms, right? I wonder if you know this idiom. It rubs some people the wrong way. I wonder if you know that. It's an interesting idiom, right? Um, I'm going to explain that um, a little later. And that's it. That's everything we've got going on today. Hmm, all of that. Social media and you. Now, I've got a little note here that says your sound is a bit strange. Why have I got echo? Use echo cancellation. Right, I see. That's why that's happening. Should be okay. Um, let's see who is in the house. Who is here? We've got... Adityan Manoch, good day, good evening to you. Tahira, good morning. Uh, Hojakba from Uzbekistan, nice to see you here. Um, hey from Red Uwu, <laughs> Fati Amini, nice to see you as well. Ravat D, hello everybody, hello you. Wiola from Poland, great to see you here as well. Um, Shu Tao, good morning. Nika FD, good morning as well. I do like your little logo. I wonder if you are a company or are, are you a person? Who knows? Great, Ajian, Ajain Gupta. It's a great topic today. It certainly is, Ajian. It's a great one. And really, I think it's interesting because there's a lot of controversy and debate around social media, all sorts of stuff um, that we're going to look at today. I've got a quick shout out. I do get some emails from different people and I got one the other day. It was a very nice email from Cecile and she said, Hi Keith, good day. I am your avid follower. Lovely language, Cecile. Avid follower, right? Um, I took the IELTS exam and on my second attempt got the target speaking band. Hooray! I purchased your Udemy course watched almost all of your YouTube videos and attended some of your live lessons. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
You have helped a lot of introverts like myself believe in our English and be confident in the speaking test. If I haven't found your videos and watched them, I wouldn't have made it. God bless you and continue to a blessing to everyone. Thank you very much, Cecile. I think that's very, very interesting. I think it's interesting. The first that you mentioned, introverts, shy people, timid people. A lot of people do feel very timid when coming to speaking in a foreign language, me included. I am, although you may not think so, I am a big, big introvert, right? Um, I spend more time on my own than I do socialising with people. Um, but great, I'm delighted I can help people. And also it's interesting, you said you did the Udemy course, the watch the YouTube videos, as well as the live lessons. And that's great because some people ask me, um, is YouTube enough? Are the live lessons enough? It's never enough. Learning a language, the more you can do, the better, right? Don't limit yourself to say, well, I'll just learn these five topics. No, the more you can do, the better you're going to get. So I think Cecilia's have got a great idea. Come to the live lessons, join the course, go to the website, um, watch the YouTube videos, do as much as you can. Really, it's going to be a big, big help for you, for IELTS, not just for preparing, but for actually becoming a better English speaker which I hope all of you are going to do or in the process of doing. Lovely. Good. What else have we got? Um, a bit of news just to let you know. Um, as you probably know, I mentioned there the Udemy course, right? I've got this course on Udemy, which is to prepare for IELTS speaking. Um, I'm actually going to also put this course on another platform Um just to make it more accessible so more people can find it. Um, so I'm also going to put it on a platform called Teachable, which is a different platform. It's exactly the same course. It will just be in future on two platforms, on Udemy and Teachable. Same price, same course, same me. <laughs> um, just to let you know, that's probably in a, a couple of weeks' time, I'll be putting it on another platform as well. You can still get it on Udemy, right? Of course, it stays there, but it will just be growing on another platform. Great IELTS speaking success. Go and check it out. By the way, for those of you who are on um, YouTube, do remember, subscribe to the to the channel English Speaking Success and also turn on notifications to find out about upcoming videos that I've got coming. Um, excellent. How are you doing, everybody? <laughs> I always want to come and check in, make sure that everybody's OK. Hello from Cambridge in the UK. Hattis, hello. Nice to see you there. Ashul Kula from Afghanistan. Great to see you here, sir. Today, Reid Kaur is joining for the first time. Great. Good. Nice to see you here. Brilliant. The more the merrier. Absolutely. OK, guys, we're going to move on. Um, Claudia says her exam is approaching. Dun, 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 dun. Don't worry, Claudia. You will be absolutely fine, I'm sure. <laughs> so social media, right? Interesting topic. Um, let me bring you over here. I was looking at the, the definition of social media and I discovered there are two things that we talk about, social media and social networking. And I thought they were the same, to be honest. But apparently there is a bit of a difference. It turns out social media are, because it's plural, right? Medium, singular, media. Plural. However, <laughs> that said, in spoken English, we use it both as a plural and as a singular. Right. A lot of people say, oh, my favorite social media is Facebook. Now, according to the Latin, it's plural and it should be plural, but we do use it as a singular noun as well. Right. So you can say my favorite social media is Facebook. But Strictly speaking, media here should be plural. So social media are, that's great, primarily internet-based tools. So they're the tools, right, for sharing and discussing. 
So social media can include also Google Docs, um, Dropshare, things like that, as well as Facebook, Twitter and all of those. Social networking comes up a lot on the internet and it says it's more an act of engagement. So it's more the activity of using social media, right? Interesting. To be honest, most people like me, even native speakers, look at them very much the same and we use them very much the same. So do remember, right, IELTS is not a test of your technical knowledge. Um, it is just a test of your spoken English. So don't worry too much about that. Right, brilliant. Um, I'm looking at your comments. Rahila says, I'm watching with interest. And I bet, right, I bet today there's a lot of people who are IT engineers, social media experts, marketing experts who are going to be uh, not attacking me, but keeping me on my toes to make sure that I'm using accurate information. I'm by far, you know, I'm by no means an expert. I really don't know a lot about it. But I know enough English to talk about it. <laughs> right, let's have a look then. It's, well, oh, a quick question then for all of you guys, right? What do you use social media for? I did ask the Facebook group yesterday. Um, and here are some things you may use it for. Chatting with friends, sharing things, meeting people, being part of a group, playing games. Are you noticing, actually, all of these should be with the gerund, right? It would be better sharing, meeting people, being part of a group identity. That comes up as a key thing in research with social media. The need to belong to a group and to, to mould or create your identity, right? Interesting. We'll talk more about that. Playing games, <laughs> of course, whether it's Fortnite, Candy Crush or whatever. Um, studying. Of course, that's what you're doing here for entertainment, for business. So here, that will be good to change it to four because we say four. For, for, for business, for marketing, get that nice for, right? We very rarely say four because that sounds like four. We say for, for entertainment, for business, for marketing. Um, so I'm interested, guys, what do you use social media for? Let's have a look. Let's put up a few ideas. Right, Wahida says learning new languages. Excellent. Hatties says social media are ah, nice. Good for chatting with friends. Great. Scarlet, get the news. Yep, yeah, or getting the news. <laughs> Tahira, attract attention. Yeah, interesting. Yes. Hano, searching. New things, searching, searching for, right? Searching for new things. Let me just help you a little bit, Hanor. Thank you very much. Searching for new things. Um, good, we've got Prawasha, entertainment, sharing things and meeting new people. All of those, right? Nice, good. Checking news, yep. Yeah good or checking checking news or checking the news i think if you're talking about checking news or information from family yes checking news if you're talking about the bbc voice of america or the guardian checking the news right checking the news is more that kind of you know news from websites and newspapers checking the news great <laughs> Right. Hi, Michael. Good expert, you. I'm not an expert. Far from it, my friend. Hyrinda says entertainment. Claudia. Claudia, you're the one who says your exam's coming, right? Good. I use them mainly to get to know more friends and stay in contact with. Nice collocation. Stay in contact with other people with whom I share interests. Claudia, your writing is beautiful. Very nice. With whom I share interest. Very good. Like it. Um, hat is we've got already socialising with friends. Great. So lots of different things for marketing. Right. 
I'm interested to know those of you who are marketing with an E <laughs> added marketing. Let me give you a little hand. I know it's because you're writing so fast, right? That's the only reason. I wonder what you guys are marketing. I'd be interested. <laughs> Patricia says, looking at Keith. <laughs> Hello, Keith on Facebook. So I do spend some time on Facebook, but to be honest, I don't spend a lot of time on Facebook. Um, I am not a big fan of social media. I mean, I use it for learning and teaching, absolutely, and for business, for you know, growing my channels, if you like. Um, but personally, I rarely post on Facebook, you know, and if you follow me personally, it's a waste of time because I don't do very much. I do use WhatsApp with family. That's true because it's private, right? We like that private group. I'm not a big fan of putting my life out there. I'm not really a vlogger. I don't think I would ever be a, a vlogger like that. I don't think so. No. <laughs> Great. So let's move on. Ah, this is interesting, right? Before we look at vocabulary, um, I'm going to have a look at I'm going to have a, a look at this with you because I said right we start on social media. Um, I'm going to ask you. Let me just click. Let me just click. <laughs> Post on my wall. I'm going to show you my wall. I've created a wall. Okay. Um, I've created a special wall to look like social media. Um, and what I'm going to do is going to share the link with you. We've got the moderators, guys. Thank you very much. Who will put the link into the YouTube and Facebook page and group. Um, and I want you to go there in a moment and have a look at the wall and post something, right? Let me show you how you can do it. So the link, guys, if you can post the link, those the, the e-moderators, this is the uh, the Linoit, L-I-N-O-I-T link. That would be great. Stop spamming, guys. Whoever's spamming, stop spamming. Oh, right, I can't see all the comments, but... Um, so listen, if you can go to the wall, right, you will see something like this. I hope. <laughs> yes. You'll see something like this. It's a cork board, right? Um, and basically, if I can show myself over here, <laughs> I'm super small. Um, here, welcome to the wall. So what you do, right, when you go on here, um, is if you just click on a yellow paper, it pulls up and you can just type, I am Keith, for example. Um, I'm, I'm Keith. And I'm from Manchester in the UK. And then a question, right? Let's. What's your favourite food? With British spelling, please. What's your favourite food? And then you can change the font size if you want to make it bigger. You don't need to make it too big. Let's just make it medium size. Um, you can change the color if you want, but I think the black looks best. Um, you can add things, but just it's absolutely fine. And then just post, right? And it will appear as if by magic. And you can move it around, right? You can also move the cork board around. It's actually quite a big board. Um, if you look down in the bottom corner over here, it shows you where you are. Um, so if we get a lot of posts and I'd like you just to go in and go and post something, right? If that's it, let me check if the links have gone in. Hopefully the links have gone in. Guys, if the moderators are in there and have put the links, um, let us just do a quick check and then let's see if people can start posting stuff. Bear with me a moment. We're loading up. Right, so this is the link. Let's double check if it's going in. Huh. 
<laughs> is it coming up? Are the links coming up? It will take. It might take you a, a while. And I'm wondering if you need to sign in. Oh dear. Let's double check. Let's double check. Bear with me. You may need to sign. It's definitely free, but you may, you shouldn't sign in, but you may need to. Oh no, look, we're there. We're there. People are in. Fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. Let me bring it up. Dun, dun, dun. Come on, come on. <laughs> Why wouldn't it come up? I can see all of your comments here. Uh, um, okay, website's not me. You don't want me, do you? Let's take me away. Let me try and find you. That's strange. Why is it not showing up? There it is. There it is. Welcome to Keith's Wall. Keith's Wall has disappeared. Right, we've got lots of interesting stuff here. Hello, I'm Alfonso from the Philippines. We're waiting for writing classes. Hui from Vietnam. Uh, hello, Keith. This is Ali from Iran. Sylvia's there. Lots of people. You, you guys, when you're in there, you can actually move. Um, you can move your post-it. So you can move around the board. You can post them down here as well right so you don't post on top of other people <laughs> uh excellent great so that's brilliant you're posting some things we're going to come back to that very very shortly thank you for your patience right um you can keep posting but we're going to kick on and we're going to move forward next looking at some vocabulary so when it comes to vocabulary um ielts speaking I'm going to have a look at some different words. Patricia, I'm going to take you off for the mo. We're going to look at some common vocabulary we need when we're talking about social media. OK, so to begin with, to go viral, if we say something goes viral or it's a video that goes viral, it, mean, it means basically it becomes very popular and it spreads. So viral comes from virus. And a virus spreads, as we all know, that it spreads very quickly. So to go viral is to spread quickly. Um, and here in social media, of course, we're talking about videos or posts, basically. OK, so that's to go viral. Now to scroll, I'm sure all of you know this, right? Um, when you scroll on social media, so you have your phone, right? And when you scroll, you're going up or down. You can scroll down or scroll up. To swipe is when you go left and right. So you're swiping left and right. For some reason, we use these words with social media. Um, it's interesting with screens, right? So it's to move up and down on a screen. And to swipe is to move left and right on a screen. OK, to swipe, of course, originally to swipe is when you whoom, when you hit somebody or you whoom, you have a swipe at somebody. That's originally. But here on social media, moving left or right on a screen. A vlogger is, as I mentioned, people who put their life on video. So from the moment they wake up to the moment they go to bed, you can see their life on video. So basically, it's a um, person sharing their life, their personal life on video. Personal life and ideas, I guess. It's a vlogger. V for video. Blogger with a B is, is you know, is person sharing their personal life through writing but this is through video now a meme uh, great the meme 
So blogger. Let's let me just make that clear. Somebody's asked, what's a blogger then? A blogger is a person sharing their personal life by writing. By writing a blog. That's why it's called a blogger, of course. So notice there is a very small difference there, right? <laughs> Sorry. So a meme. Yeah, a meme is something funny. Now, I, I used to think a meme was something funny. So who said that? Somebody said that. Can I find you? Something funny. It was Dung. Dung Fam Kwok. Meme is something funny. Yes. And I thought it's the same. But it's interesting, right? Because according to the dictionary, it has a slightly different meaning. Um, let me come up with you. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Da -da 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 -da. Let's have a look here. Meme. If I show you, it says here, right, a meme is an idea, behavior or style that spreads by means of imitation. So it's not just something funny. It's an idea, a behavior or style that spreads by means of imitation from person to person. Very interesting, right? Um, and of course, these are examples of memes. They are funny pictures, but when you think about it, they are ideas or behaviors or something cultural being spread from person to person. Right. So that's a meme. Very interesting. A meme. So what can we say? A funny way, <laughs> a funny way to spread ideas and behavior. Maybe it's just a funny picture is easier, right? <laughs> a funny picture. Normally, often with writing on as well. Great. Cyber bullying. Let's move up. Cyber bullying. Well, that's just bullying. So a bu bully is to, to bully as a verb. To bully is to attack and intimidate and humiliate somebody. Um, so to attack and intimidate. That's to make them feel very small. But on the internet, that's cyberbullying, a big issue and a big problem nowadays. Bullying in schools, yes, cyberbullying on the internet. And the kind of people who do cyberbullying are trolls, right? Now, trolls is a bit of a wider meaning. Um, if we have a look at the word troll, right, and you've probably seen... You've probably seen the, the video, right? This is a troll, actually. It's a horrible monster. <laughs> the troll is a, is a real bad monster. And there's a film, right? Trolls, which has lots of little pink, nice, friendly monsters. Suddenly, the trolls are very, very friendly. Um, but an actual troll, there you go. Don't they look great? But an actual troll is not so friendly. I mean, look at this guy over here. They look horrible. And that is the meaning really of a troll, if we look carefully, is an ugly creature, but trolling on the internet. Ooh. In internet slang, it says here, a troll is a person. Here we go. A troll is a person who starts flame wars or intentionally upsets people on the internet. By posting inflammatory, inflammatory posts, right? So it's a person who flames others and upsets other people, right? Interesting, interesting. So a troll, um, someone who flames and upsets other people on the internet. To flame, by the way, if you don't know to flame, to flame is to write in capital letters, right? So if I write, who are you? If I write like this on the internet, it's very offensive and very negative because it looks like you're shouting, who are you, you idiot? 
That's what it looks like, right? So be very careful when you're, you're, you're typing and writing on the internet or in emails because capital letters is recognized as flaming and flaming is going to upset the other person. So be very careful with that. Don't flame people. Just write normally. That's a troll. Um, we can talk about an influencer. Obviously, it's a person who influences others on the internet. So people who have huge following on YouTube channels, on Instagram, and you know they sell like the Kardashians, right? They're big influencers, and they can sell their cosmetic lines, or or they can actually people will listen to them and pay attention to them because they have influence. Fishing, right? Fishing, pronounced like fishing, catching your fish. But on the internet, right, slightly, slightly different, slightly different. Um, let's go back. Let's have a look at fishing. Let's pull up fishing and see what it says for us. If I just nip over here. I think it's like in pretending to be somebody else to steal their information. Look, you can see in the picture, it is a kind of phishing for data and phishing for somebody's information. It's a cyber crime, nice word, in which a target are contacted by email by someone posing as a legitimate institution to lure individuals to give sensitive data. And basically, you know, they're going to steal your ID, banking, credit card and passwords, right? So people uh, pretending to be somebody else and stealing. Basically, that's what it is, right? Phishing. Interesting why it's got PH. I don't know why it uses PH, but the pronunciation is like phishing. I think it literally from catching fish, you're catching the credit card data, data from other people, right? So that's phishing is um, imposting or imposing. Hmm. Lena, let's say pretending to be someone else so you can steal someone's... Hello, the neighbours are drilling. So you can steal someone's uh, ID, personal info, for example. Phishing. Great. Guys, how are we doing? I've been ignoring you. Can you record this live, Ulvia? Yes, it's been recorded and you'll get it very, very soon. Brilliant. Um, so we've got, ah, Claudia, follow different vloggers. Very good. Meme, funny short video from Simran. Good. Yep. And how is influencer? There you go. I think we've just answered that one. Influencer, somebody who has influence. Foreign says cyberbullying refers to the misuse of information technology with the intention to harass others. Yeah, that's also cyberbullying. It tends to be stressing the harassment of people. Yeah, absolutely. Misuse of information. Yeah, maybe you, you spread lies about that person or things that are not true. <laughs> Cyberbullying is a crime as well. Yep, absolutely. What else have we got? Charry says to offend and humiliate. So talking here about bullying, cyberbullying. Shreya says cyberbullying is a serious crime and victims should ask for help. Absolutely, absolutely true. Yeah, Ziad says trolling increased recently, especially when people were in quarantine. They just spent time online. Yeah, people are spending more and more time online. Very, very true. So there's more of it. Great. Some people here for the first time. Excellent. Yeah, absolutely. Anything else? Social media. Streaming. Let's move on to streaming, right? Um, so streaming is basically where you... Sorry, Ziad, let's take you off. Streaming 
is where you can uh well <laughs> let's get this right is where you send out information like a video in real time and it continues to be sent out so you can keep on watching it so we're streaming now right yes and everyone's going complicated keith yes absolutely very complicated let's bring in good old google to find out what it says about streaming <laughs> It's interesting because I know, obviously, like you and me, we probably know the main meaning, but it's interesting how um, Google gives us a different slant. Streaming is an alternative to file downloading, a process in which the end user obtains the entire file f for the content before watching it or listening to it. Right. Great. Okay, a stream. It's all in Spanish, isn't it? The continuous transmission of audio video files. The media file is being played and it's being stored remotely. Wow, okay. Listen, the continuous transmission of audio or video files, that is good enough for me <laughs> at the moment. I think that will do. Let's put that in there. Streaming. Cha-cha. That will do for the moment. And you experts can get a better definition as I'm talking. It does kind of mean live. It means live. Yes, your class, Maria says, sorry, Madzi says, your class is now being streamed live. Josh Shiv says, sharing something live to the audience in audios or videos. Yes, yes. Mesut says streaming is a flowing data in or data in any type. Right. Good. Excellent. <laughs> right. Data privacy. Keeping your data, your data or personal information private. Thank goodness for cor Writing corrector, spelling corrector makes it so much quicker. Brilliant. Okay. Excellent. So we've looked there quite a lot of different vocabulary. We're going to move on, right, from vocabulary and we're going to have a drink of water. Badab shibi dooby 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 bum bum bum. Hmm. Right. Good. What's next? Social media, debate and discussion. Okay, guys, um, so I'm going to ask you, first of all, here with social media. What are the pros of social media, right? I mean, the advantages, let's make it clear. In your opinion, let me know in the comment below, what do you think? are the pros or the advantages of social media and that gives me time to have a cup of tea, another cup of tea have a look let's see bum 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 Bum, bum, bum. Let's have a look. I'm just going to have a look at something just while we're doing that. I want to try and fix my sound problem. Why is it doing that? That's a bit strange. Oh dear. That might be a problem later, but not to worry. Right, guys, let's have a look. The the advantages. Social media. Sayantana says we can communicate globally at the same time. Great. Rohit says we can keep touch. Ah, not keep touch, but keep in touch, right, Rohit? Keep in touch. 
keep in touch with family. Nice, good. Uh, we've got also Edith who says checking the news quickly. Yeah, especially things like Twitter, right? Great for checking the news quickly. Um, <laughs> Trang says lost a lot of time. Right. Now, more than that's interesting, Trang, and thank you for this, because normally we can say to lose time. Right. But normally when we're talking about um, the Internet and not making good use of time, we say to waste lots of time. To waste time. Right. Not really to lose time, but to waste, waste lots of time. Um, lose time is where, for example, you're you're doing an activity. Let's say you're preparing a meeting. You've got half an hour to prepare and you spend 20 minutes chatting with your friends. Well, you lose a lot of time because you've only got 10 minutes left. You've lost a lot of time. But where you're using your time in a bad way, it's to waste time. I know what you're thinking. It has a very similar meaning, right? Very similar meaning. But waste time, for example, you know, playing games instead of learning English. <laughs> no, playing games instead of listening carefully to your family. That might be a waste of time, right? <clears throat> OK, great. What else have we got? Yeah, Poonam says buying and selling products through social media. We can. That's right. Nowadays, we can even buy and sell products through social media. Um, it's become a bit of a one stop shop. You can do everything. <clears throat> yep. Kahina says keep the contact. This is great because these are all very, very common mistakes. Rather than the um, keep contact. So we would say um, Kahina normally keep contact with our friends or keep in keep in contact. Do you remember keep in touch? Keep in contact, right? Both of those. Nice. Uh, on Facebook, it works as a connector between people. Yep. Barbie L says easy and fast communication. All very good. <clears throat> and this is the one that I have from Jessica. It's the same for me. Communicate with family members from abroad. Yes. Communicate with <laughs> family members. You know, that's a very student thing to say. In, in England and America, we tend to say members of our family, right? We don't really say family members. I think that's something a lot of students say. Members of our family or members of my family. Yes, but great. Very good. Thank you, Jessica. <clears throat> um, similar to keeping in touch, stay up to date. <coughs> All of these are great, right? So let me just write down a couple of things if I can. Keep in touch with family. Failey, come on. <laughs> what are you doing? Keep in touch with family. Can I just change that ever so slightly? Oh, it's just off out of reach. There it is. Thank you so much. Keep in touch with family. Uh, keep in contact with da 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 da. Keep up to date with da 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 da. Great. And that can be family or the news, for example. Keep up to date with the news, family, da 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 da, etc. etc. Right, this is interesting from Suba to earn knowledge and awareness. <clears throat> I don't think you mean earn. I think you mean learn. <clears throat> and if you don't, you should, <laughs> because the collocation should be to learn knowledge, right? Or to gain knowledge. I'm going to put to gain knowledge. I think that's a bit better. To gain knowledge, um, <clears throat> to learn new things. Yeah, brilliant. To gain knowledge. What else have we got? Acquire knowledge. Harshiv says to acquire knowledge. That's nice. Gain, acquire, get. <coughs> Excuse me. 
gain, acquire, get knowledge and information around the world. Brilliant. Nice. Very good. Uh, for Rosan says we can develop our business. Yes. Develop a business. Exactly. Yeah. Build a brand, as I said, build a brand or build influence. Nice collocations. Build a brand, build influence. Thank you, uh, Furuzan. Great. <clears throat> okay, those are the prawns, right? All good things that you've been talking about. However, what about the cons? Let's have a look. What are the cons? And by the cons, of course, I mean the disadvantages. What are the disadvantages? Leave me a comment. Let's find out. <clears throat> <laughs> learning okay great these are all very very good ah somebody's asked about cue cards let me come back to cue cards in a moment i thought that would come up to attend my classes yes right okay let's have a look fia says it can be addictive <clears throat> yeah i'm going to write these up as we go because absolutely right um can be addictive. <clears throat> what else? Yep, yeah, wasting time. Waste of time. Or wasting time. Actually, that's a really good collocation. I like it. Wasting time. Waste of time or wasting time. Wasting of time. Wasting time. Wasting time. Yes. <laughs> Great. Logan says, waste too much time <clears throat> on it. On it. Very good. Nice use of the the uh, the, the, the preposition. Increase time. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. Time consuming. That's good. Let's put that as well. It's time consuming. A waste of time. It's time consuming. What else? <laughs> <coughs> it's convenient well yes false news yep false news um we often call that fake news or incorrect information yeah you never know the reliability of the source if it's shared on social media you never know if it's going to be true or not right Geza says, sorry, um, bombarded information from Divya. Yep, bombarded information. Nice, good. Easily distracted. <clears throat> yeah, that's one of the big problems, right? It easily <clears throat> distracts us. <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat again. People are distracted. That's nice, actually. Nice um, use of the passive. Good. What else? There are intellectual property violations. Yeah, good. Intellectual property violations. Absolutely. That is also a problem. Health issues, I guess. Yes, connected to, well, health and mental health issues, right? All of those are, are problems. <clears throat> so it can lead to mental health issues yeah absolutely as well as possibly physical health but definitely mental health <clears throat> yeah a lot of those brilliant lots of ideas i like this yes the internet is a time sink <laughs> yes like the water going down the sink and disappearing it certainly is, right? It's a rabbit's hole. Don't go down that rabbit hole. You'll end up wasting a lot, a lot of time. <clears throat> Brilliant. Good. So we've talked about the pros. We've talked about the cons. I'm just going to share with you a picture over here um, and just talk a little bit about this with you. Let me share. Actually, not that picture. <clears throat> I wanted to share this picture with you, right? Social media pros and cons. Some of the pros are in blue, right? 
you can use social media to get recruited. A lot of organizations and companies are using your Facebook. They're looking at your Facebook feed or your Instagram feed when they recruit you. Now, negatively, it can also have a bad impact if you've got lots of photos of you um, naked running around the streets drunk then you're not going to get recruited. But you can set a positive image. Um, you can connect with others. We've talked about that. You can educate and get educated. So not only gaining knowledge and learning, but you can also educate others. And I don't just mean as a teacher. I mean, like me, but anybody can educate other people because the sharing of knowledge is how we learn, right? You can get different opinions, yes and no. The different opinions, uh, yes, because you're exposed to lots of people around the world. So yes, it's true. You can meet people from Iran, Afghanistan, from India, from Australia, from Canada, and all these different opinions and cultures. It's really interesting. But that said, the algorithm of social media means that you're fed the same stuff again and again. So once you start following somebody um, who believes A, all of the f posts you start to see are related and other people who believe the same thing. So if you start following posts on fake news, suddenly you're getting lots of information about fake news because the algorithm is giving you what you like what it thinks you like. So actually your your vision becomes very, very narrow, right? And if you go and watch the um oh, what was it called? The film, the social the social dilemma was it called? I mean it explains the algorithm is making our lives very narrow and very, very limited because it's feeding us like food the same stuff again and again and again. So I think that's interesting. I think it's a yes and no. Getting different opinions, yes and no. Make a name for yourself at the top, then yes, if you want to build a brand, build a business. The negatives, we've talked a bit about cyberbullying related to gossiping, right? People gossip, um, even in private groups, like in WhatsApp. The, Have you seen what Jack's been doing recently? Gossip, gossip. Stalking is when you follow somebody, um, especially a celebrity, and you, uh, well, you follow them and, and you harass them, basically, because you don't leave them alone. Fake identity, predators. These are, these are the trolls we talked about earlier. And the danger of getting hacked, of course. Getting hacked is, is a big issue or a potential issue as well, right? <clears throat> Absolutely. OK, interesting. Now then, let's go and have a quick look. Let me bring that. Where are you? There you are. Welcome back. <laughs> You're like, I didn't go anywhere, Keith. I know. OK, so let's have a quick look. I want to have a go back and have a quick look at the wall I created at the start of this lesson. And I want you to take a moment to go back to that wall and to write an answer to a question. There were lots of questions on that wall. Oh my God, <laughs> the wall has gone crazy. Um, the wall is nearly full. And let's see. I want you to go and write a, a question. Let me show you the wall. This is crazy. I hope you can see it. Right, here's the wall. Hey, Keith, you're a top-notch teacher. You're a top-notch student. That's great. Hi, Keith. What is your best idea for spending a vacation? I can't move you across. Can I move you across? Here we go. My best idea for spending a vacation, um, well, is to go walking in the mountains. Make yourself a little picnic, some sandwiches and hot soup, and go up into the mountains, get some fresh air for like a week. That's my idea of a great vacation. We've got Dr. Apurva from it from London. Well, he's in London, in the UK. Great. <laughs> Hail the Keith, Krishna from India. Got 7.5 because of your classes. That's great. Thank you very much. But you haven't asked a question. Any questions? I'd like you to go in and now ask a question, right? Can you type a question? 
and you can answer other people's questions as well. Tirim from Pakistan, great. Chari from Turkmenistan. Dung from Vietnam. Are there any football fans here? Come on, guys. I'm afraid I am not a football fan, but I do watch Man U once in a while. Keith Post. Let me put that right down there under your... There's my answer. Dung. Great. <laughs> Fancy from Hong Kong. It's an interesting activity. We can just see you over here. Please give some tips to break my monotonous way of speaking. Well, use practice intonation. Swathi. Different types of intonation. Say a sentence like you are happy, then sad, then uh, angry, and so on. There you go. There's my answer, Swathi. I'll just move this down for you, if I can. So try saying a sentence like you're happy, and then sad, and then angry, right? So you kind of say, oh, I don't like football. I don't like football. Oh, I don't like football. I don't like football. Change your intonation. Changing your emotion can help change your intonation. Stuff like that. Great. Up on the wall, who else is here? Keith, I cannot find some of the PDFs. Where can I find them? Yes, I have been very, very slow I apologise. I am updating them, but I've been doing it very slowly because I've been putting the, the, the course on the Teachable website. But I am doing it soon. Yes. Great. Hi, sir. What's your favourite cuisine? Have you ever tried Indian food? How? Oh, come on. Of course. Of course. Yes, I love uh, chicken. Uh, chicken. Madras and also uh, biryani but i don't know how you spell biryani biri how do you spell biryani oh no i'm not sure how you spell biryani bear with me <laughs> bear with me oh no 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 oh no what's happened oh come on right as i don't know how to spell biryani Ignore spelling. I'm going to change it. <laughs> Chicken Madras and also... Um, Yo, oh, Rogan Josh. Lamb. Especially lamb. But I'm a big fan of vegetables, actually. I also like a um, vegetable... Uh, hello? What's happened? Hello? Oh. I tell you what, we're having some fun and games with technology today, aren't we? Some real fun and games. Let's try again. No. Come on, website. Yes. Current application, yes. So why is it not showing? There it is. So yes, I love Chicken Madras and also Lamb, Rogan, Josh. How to study a word efficiently? Well... That's a good question. How to study a word efficiently. Then the way to do that is to um, practice it in, well, to see it and practice it in different contexts. Look for it in different media. So, for example, try and find it in listening, in writing, and then practice in at least four sentences that's just a very quick answer if you like right look for it in different media and then practice in at least four sentences so guys listen i'm going to leave you to answer each other's question this board will stay up at least for the next week 
Um, you can go in, you can go and read, you can answer each other's question. This is very messy social media, right? <laughs> because Facebook, it just goes down. There's a stream that goes down, like the uh, the sync, the time sync. It, the, you scroll up and you go down the feed. This is a very messy social media. Interesting, right? <laughs> Excellent. Now, Badab shibi dooby 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 bum bum bum. I think it's time that we had a look at. Uh, well, we've we've looked at posting. Let's have a look. We've looked at vocabulary, right? We've done the debate, pros and cons. Listening task. I think it's time for a listening task. So this listening task is I actually posted on the website, um, the Keith Speaking Academy. If you've not been to the website, guys, do go and check it out. There's lots of great stuff there. The KeithSpeakingAcademy.com, right? You can go check out lots of information. But on the Tuesday before the live lesson, I always now, I always post a question or a task and you have to go in there and try and do the task, right? Um, so what I did is I posted this question. Now then, can I find it? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh dear. I'm having a terrible day with technology. Absolutely. I posted a question, but let me just show you the question. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. The all of the stuff on the website, by the way, just to let you know as well that when you um, when you finish, hang on, bear with me. I'm going to just do something. I'm going to show you the website. So when I finish, when we finish the class today, um, you can go to the website, the Key Speaking Academy, right, which is over here. And if you go to the top to the free live lessons that bit up there, then you will be able to find the latest live lesson, which you can download or you can click and study. And then if you want past live lessons, you can go down here and find all different past live lessons um, and click on them. And then when you go there, you can download the PDF here directly. This was just easier to do. Um, and this is the PDFs are being updated, so they're not all here, but I am doing those now. So there's a page to, there's an IELTS speaking lesson about social media. And on that page, what I did is I had a look at some questions. I posted some questions and let me show you the questions I posted. <clears throat> and I asked you to guess what the missing word or words are. So this is one word. Here there are two words. Um, have a quick look guys and see if you can guess what the missing words are. And then in a moment we will do the listening. See if you can guess. Thanks moderators for posting the, the website, right? That's great. Right, let's start sharing. Number one, users. Ah, interesting. Uh, or accounts, somebody says. Possibly. Good. Interesting. I won't tell you the answer yet. Subscriber, says Kahina. Maybe. Uh, guys, what about number two? Number two, Stevenson says TikTok. Uh, number three, people have said, Saloni says number three, accounts, social media, active social, It's but it's two words. So yes, Shreya, it would be, it would be, if it were correct, media accounts, right? Um, viewers, interesting. Number four, waste of time. Is the waste of time? Mm, possibly. 
Any other ideas? Um, number two, Alexandra says TikTok. The new kid on the block, TikTok. Sounds good, right? Number four, perfect. The perfect time we spend. Could be. It could be, yes. It could be. What else have we got? Anyone for number five? Vloggers for number two. That's interesting. That's interesting. Number three could be consumption. Ooh, not sure about that. Maybe. Number three might be users. Has anybody got number five? No, because it's covered. Come on, Keith, wake up. <laughs> right, users, Instagram media, uh, Duong Kang, users, Instagram, Instagram. Ah, the new kid on the block, Instagram. Yeah, new but not that new. Okay, interesting. Lots and lots of uh, suggested ideas there. But nobody has number five. That's interesting. Come on, guys. Nobody has number five. Shakun has come in with a people negative, if I can get your message. Of people, feel social media has a negative effect. Aha. Uh -huh. Amandeep also says users feel social media has a negative effect. Ur says the same. Fear says the same. This is going to surprise you. Population positive. Claudia being controversial. Good. Paula says users are negative. OK, very, very interesting. A final one from Arpita, which I think is interesting. Social media users has a psychological effect mm. brilliant so guys what i'm going to do is we're going to play and you're going to listen and as you listen try and find the answer okay now then this is where i'm worried about the sound because this annoying message has been there i want to swipe the message well, let's try. You tell me if the sound is bad, right? Just give me a message in the comments. But let's try. Social media. Social media is not only here to stay. It's a growing phenomenon with new platforms cropping up every year. An old favourite, Facebook, has just under 2.5 billion users, whilst the relatively new kid on the block, TikTok, has just 500 million. There are an incredible 3.6 billion active social media users. That's about half the world's population. How much time do we spend glued to screens? Well, 74% of Facebook users check their feed every day and spend an average of 35 minutes a day there. But that's just Facebook. In fact, our addiction to social media goes much deeper. It seems we are scrolling, posting, using social media platforms for an average of three hours per day. It seems crazy, but people worldwide now watch one billion hours of YouTube videos every single day. Social media goes beyond entertainment it seems to be becoming a one-stop shop for all our daily needs, including keeping in touch with friends and family, getting news, sharing ideas and even shopping. Let's look at the impact of social media on young people. Many users are teens and in a recent survey in the USA, 81% of teenagers said social media was having a positive effect on their lives. So despite the parental worries of trolling, body image and FOMO, many teens feel more connected to friends and think social media actually exposes them to different viewpoints. So that's social media. What about you? How do you feel about social media? Right. Yeah, the, the, the sound is good. OK. Great. We'll come back to the question of how do you feel, but nice. Well done. So you've got a lot of those answers correct. Not all of them from guessing, but when you listen, I think you've got all the answers. You've picked them all out. Um, I'm just going to do a very quick summary. 
and I'm going to use Saurabh because he said, number one, 2.5 billion Facebook users. Yes. Number two, the new kid on the block is the new fashionable person, right, or company. Uh, TikTok, very good. 3.6 active social media users. There were two words. Good. Number four, although we spend, I think it was 35 minutes on Facebook, we spend three hours a day is the average time on social media. And then number five, yes, it was teenagers and positive. 81% of teenagers feel social media has a positive effect. This is true, right? It's very, very interesting. Most of us thought it was going to be negative. Um, but when we listen, we discover that it's positive. Okay. Thanks for that summary, um, Saurabh. And thank you for everybody else. I see a lot of you have got the right answer when you do it. Um, <clears throat> So I think this is interesting, right, uh, from two points of view. <laughs> interesting from an information point of view about the changing face of social media, how popular it's becoming and how we are spending so much time there. But also interesting from an IELTS listening point of view, right? Um, I think it's a great strategy when you're listening to, to do the following, right? As soon as you see the topic or the the list of questions is to scan very quickly and to start thinking about what's the topic what's it going to be about and then start thinking about vocabulary you know you know we looked at vocabulary so if you think you know and if you see that the topic very quickly you go oh this is social media then your head should be thinking troll influencer data protection data privacy um keeping in touch, uh, the different vocabulary we saw like today, right? Cyberbullying, um, connecting with people. All of these vocabulary words and collocations, you want to be activating as quickly as you can because that is going to prepare you for the listening. And then if you have time also is then to be looking at the gaps and guessing, this is not just for IELTS. This is for any exam or, in fact, real life. It's just to start looking and guessing what it might be. Because then again, you're getting potential possible words. User, account, subscriber, follower, right? All of these words are coming up. And then, finally, when you finally listen, you're so alert and ready. Subscriber, user, account. Oh, user boom you catch the word right because you're already prepared with options um, and then it's so much easier to catch the right word the more you can practice like this the better really do lots of practice think about the the topic get the vocabulary guess the missing words and then listen and listen actively as you're listening right Brilliant. That's really good. I am going to play this one more time for you. Um, and as we play, I'm going to scroll, <laughs> scroll, scroll up. Um, we've filled in the gaps. We've done that. We've got the answers. We've done the answers, right? Users, TikTok, media users, average, teenagers, positive. What I'm going to do now is just for you to listen again. It's more practice. Um, and we're going to focus on some more things as we listen. We're going to focus on more language and information. OK, so let's just listen one more time. Listen carefully and have a look for some interesting language as we listen. OK. Let's play. Social media. Social media is not only here to stay, it's a growing phenomenon with new platforms cropping up every year. An old favourite, Facebook, has just under 2.5 billion users, whilst the relatively new kid on the block, TikTok, has just 500 million. There are an incredible 3.6 billion active social media users. That's about half the world's population. How much time do we spend glued to screens? Well, 
74% of Facebook users check their feed every day and spend an average of 35 minutes a day there. But that's just Facebook. In fact, our addiction to social media goes much deeper. It seems we are scrolling, posting, using social media platforms for an average of three hours per day. It seems crazy, but people worldwide now watch one billion hours of YouTube videos every single day. Social media goes beyond entertainment. It seems to be becoming a one-stop shop for all our daily needs, including keeping in touch with friends and family, getting news, sharing ideas and even shopping. Let's look at the impact of social media on young people. Many users are teens and in a recent survey in the USA, 81% of teenagers said social media was having a positive effect on their lives. So despite the parental worries of trolling, body image and FOMO, many teens feel more connected to friends and think social media actually exposes them to different viewpoints. So that's social media. What about you? How do you feel about social media? Right, well done, you've picked up. I'm just gonna go back because you picked up on some really interesting language that, that came up here, right? Um, you talked about, Sophia talked about cropping up. A few of you mentioned that, right? Um, new platforms cropping up every year, which just means, whoops, which just means appearing, right? Appearing every year. Let me just change that. Great. Cropping up. Um, RTM talked about glued to screens. I'm just going to highlight actually new kid on the block. That's another expression. Glued to screens. Um, spend time is also a collocation, right? Spend time glued to screens, which basically means um, stuck to... <laughs> Or watching a lot the screens right great that was nice we also had addiction to from Tam more expressions check your feed check their feed or check your feed on social media um, our addiction to well spotted Tam right addiction to really really good other words, scrolling, posting, all of these useful words for social media. Um, what else did we have? One-stop shop. Deepak talked about a one-stop shop. It's become a one-stop shop. A one-stop shop, of course, is a place where you get everything you need. doesn't have to be a shop that, where you buy things, but just a place where you get everything you need. Um, so on, because on social media, you can get the news, speak to your family, um, make friends, buy things. It's a one stop shop, right? You stop in one place and you get everything. Very common, nice expression. Getting news, right? Look out for these collocations. Always look for the two words that go together. Collocations are so important. Um, Positive effect, negative effect, again, great collocation. Um, trolling, body image. So this idea of, com of comparing your body, you see all these great um, photos of strong, beautiful, muscular people and you think, oh, look at me, <laughs> oh dear. And you feel bad because of your body image. So again, really important words. FOMO, I think... A lot of you know FOMO because we talked about it in the Facebook group. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Mary mentions FOMO. Fear of missing out, which is on social media, that idea that you think other people's lives are much more interesting and that yours is a bit boring and you fear that you're missing out. Everybody else... It's got champagne, sunshine, holidays in Facebook. And you think, oh, look at me. 
I'm stuck at home. Fear of missing out. FOMO. <laughs> anyway, great. Listen, that's it. That's the listening. Good activity. Well, I don't know if it's a good activity. I think it's a good way for you to practice listening. Do lots and lots of it, right? Okay, fantastic. Brilliant. Um, I've just noticed the time, but I'm going to rush forward because I would also like, after doing that today, I would still like to do what? There's one thing left, right? Two things left. Idioms. Let's have a quick look at some idioms before we finish up today. Um, if you need to go, of course, then of course you have to go. Please do. But if you can stay, then we're going to look at some idioms about social media. Um, let's have a look together. Let me come over here. Idioms to talk about social media. I'm going to go through these and then we can also look if you've got any others you can add. UH is asking for <laughs> for code. Keith is 65 years old. Oi, MP, I am not 65 years old. I'm going to tell you the truth. I am 53, right? Still a young chicken, my friend. <laughs> okay, idioms. <clears throat> hooked on, right? Now, we talked about being addicted to, but you can get hooked on. But just notice the preposition is different. You can get hooked on social media, which means you can get addicted to social media. It rubs somebody up the wrong way, right? And this, mean it, this means it annoys or irritates you. Irritates you. It annoys or irritates that person, right? Um, so, for example, you know, I do use Facebook, but I'm not a big fan. It rubs me up the wrong way. It just irritates me because it takes up so much time and I can never find the post that I'm looking for and I don't know how to navigate it. It rubs me up the wrong way, right? It just irritates me or annoys me. And here, I don't like everything about it, but I put up with it. Put up with is to tolerate and still still use, but I'm not very happy about it, right? So it just means to tolerate. To tolerate something. <clears throat> you know, sometimes, sometimes I feel that our flat is too small, um, but, you know, I put up with it. It's not a big problem. I tolerate it. It's OK. I put up with it. Now, social media is great for spreading the word or getting the word out. And this is to give a message to other people. Do you remember the memes, right? The memes is a way of sharing a message, information or behavior in a funny way. Um, so memes are great for spreading the word. <clears throat> So it just means to, to, to tell your message to everybody, um, getting the word out. So giving a message to people or information, giving information or a message. Basically, that is spreading the word, spreading like butter on the toast. Spread the word around, get the word out. You'll notice in these idioms, there's a lot of phrasal verbs, right? Phrasal verbs. Yes, very good. A uh, couple of comments. Idioms are a great way to use in the speaking test. Yes, they are. A nice question tag, by the way. Yes, they are a great way to, to use. Just make sure you're confident you understand them. Practice them lots before you use them in the test. Yes. Getting the word out means sharing the message. Exactly, exactly. Very, very good. <laughs> okay, okay, can we say young hen? Yes, you can. Yes, yes, you can. Okay. Paula, abs oh, Paula spot on. Paula's our one of our moderators, by the way. Let's create your own sentences from new idioms. Great idea. Love it. Nice. Please do keep practicing. 
it makes rich language it makes language rich absolutely so let me carry on great we've got spreading the word TikTok has really taken off it's all the rage so to take off is like the aeroplane the aeroplane takes off but when a business takes off a business becomes successful right so to take off is to become successful and it's all the rage just means it's fashionable it's very actually it's very fashionable great become fashion become successful so it's taken off instagram is instagram reels have taken off um youtube shorts have not taken off they're not all the rage really i don't think and finally sorry not finally jump on the bandwagon is to follow a fashion that just means to follow a fashion fashion um so of course when months ago when TikTok was all the rage everybody jumped on the bandwagon everybody started watching and doing funny dances on TikTok not me I didn't jump on the bandwagon um, but when a new platform becomes popular everyone jumps on the bandwagon uh, yes clubhouse right has become all the rage lots of people are jumping on the bandwagon jumping on the bandwagon has a slightly negative feeling to it right it's slightly negative because it means that you're following other people without thinking so it can be a little bit negative not too much but a little bit you know when you say oh everybody's jumping on the bandwagon with clubhouse it probably means that you are not right you think they're all just following fashion so it's a little bit negative um, and finally I like to while away the hours scrolling on Instagram yeah so to while away the hours is to spend time in a relaxed way spend time in a relaxed way I like to while away the hours watching TV I've been whiling away the hours watching Money Heist recently series three and four <laughs> but some people like to while away the hours scrolling on instagram right great so um <laughs> okay this is interesting oh it says i took off on the exam which was held yesterday ah now then um it, it's a <laughs> it's a non-transitive verb so something takes off you can't say I took off but you can say the business took off or the event took off but you can't say I took off that's great Amit that is really good because by practicing and trying you can get feedback and then get better and better that is the only way to get better so I love mistakes mistakes are a great way for us to learn so that's really good um, nice thank you very much there was another question here Fia says can we say she's a she's a type of person who likes to jump on the bandwagon she's the type of person she's the type of person yes yes you can absolutely yes TikTok is banned in India ah well yes indeed <laughs> Annabelle I spend hours whiling away on the beach last Sunday I spent Annabelle right I spent if it was last Sunday or maybe it's every Sunday Annabelle maybe you're so lucky you while away the hours every Sunday <laughs> okay brilliant <laughs> Sergey star despite almost all my friends jumping on the bandwagon with TikTok I've been whiling away watching Keith brilliant I'd be whiling away whiling away the hours right you need something whiling away the hours <laughs> brilliant I love it that's nice 
despite almost all my friends jumping on the bandwagon, I've been whiling away the days, whiling away the hours, whiling away the afternoons, some kind of time element there. Brilliant. That's great. Now, I realise it's a little bit late. Um, there are some useful idioms there to talk about social media. I am going to finish up with a quick look at Kahoot. Kahoot is a quick review for everybody. If you can stay an extra five minutes, we can do the Kahoot and we'll just review some of the language we've looked at today to help get it hardwired in your head as well. OK, so guys, bear with me. Just give me two ticks to get to find my Kahoot. Um, if you don't know what Kahoot is, then you will need to go over here. You need to go to this website in a moment um, and join, not join, go to the website, put in the game pin, which I will give you in a moment, and we're going to play the game together. So you'll need to have two websites open. If you're on a laptop, you can get the app. There's an app, Kahoot app, um, which might be easier. Or you can just go have two windows open go between the two windows so we've got social media um, you need to put in the pin which I'm going to give you now as well as let me put this as well as what as well as your name as well uh, right okay let me share this with you ready to join so there's the pin guys the pin you're looking for is 8836816 8836816 and you should be able to get in don't worry if you can't get in um, you can just put your answers in the comments the same that's it Oh my God, I love Kahoot. Great, Yuen Nat, that's great. Helen says it's really hard to put up with all the work pressure. I know what you mean, and nice sentence. Tao says Keith's channel is really taking off. That is a very good sentence. Thank you very much. But yes, it's it's a good good practice. Eight eight three six eight one six. Great, some lovely practice there. I'm liking it a lot. We've got 173. Let me just give you a few seconds. Mary says I'm in, but it seems not. Burak, good luck with your IG account. I hope it can take off. Okay, let's... Um... Let's start. Social media. This video is really taking off. I think it will go blank this video is really taking off i think it will go blank brilliant lo tengo que decir cuatro y media de la mañana madre mía <laughs> well done aung well done dennis Wow, look at that. We've got 135 people got viral. Very, very good. A few people chose vaccine. No, the vaccine is what's going to help us with uh, COVID. But I think the video will go viral, right? Excellent. Well done, guys. Let's move on. Who's at the top? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Mm, mm, I think. And Caput is second. Some great names. All right, next question, number two. Facebook has 2.5 billion active blank. 
Facebook has 2.5 billion active blank. This should be a piece of cake. Well done, Gurnet. Well done, Tran. Wow, look at that. Fantastic. 176. That, I think, is the best answer we've ever had. Great. So, Ng is still at the top, and Kmwa is second, and Kaput has moved down to third. Let's move in. Next question. I don't like social media. It rubs me up the wrong blank. I don't like social media. It rubs me up the wrong blank blank well done 77 well done where have we got Shilpa well done Asia well done my little library. Well done. One, four, four people got it right. Excellent. Very, very good. This is, you're doing really well today. Nice. It rubs me up the wrong way. Of course, meaning that it irritates me or annoys me. Way. Ng is holding strong. Interesting. Kaput has gone second. Khmer third. Great. Let's move on. The last question. Which is the odd word out, which means which is different? Which word has a different meaning? Or which phrase has a different meaning? Which is the odd one out? Uh, wow, 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 142. This is unprecedented. I've never seen such good results. Such amazing students. Well done. Free from, right? All the others mean addicted to, hooked on, obsessed with. It means you're all addictive, addicted to something more or less. Here we go. Kaput, and I've got a feeling it's going to be. Indeed it is. Mm, well done. Very, very well done. Right at the top. Nice. <laughs> oh, great, guys. I'm very impressed. Well done with that. I'm very impressed on how well you did getting all the right answers. Those are some of the best results we've ever had. Unbelievable. Very, very nice. So, listen... Um, First of all, just to remind you, right, um, in a few hours, you can go to the website, um, the Key Speaking Academy, and find uh, from the free live lessons, you can download the materials from today's lesson. Um, I will just show you very quickly again where that is so you know where to go. Uh, I think I can show you. Bear with me. Da -da 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 -da. It's over here. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> what a day. What a day. Keith Speaking Academy, all you need to do later in about two or three hours is just click on the free live lessons up here and then you can download the latest lesson. That will be there. So do um, do, do that. Brilliant. Also, just to let you know, if you want to find out more, the um, the course I've got, IELTS Speaking Success, you can get information from the website um, and you can go also get from the links below this video. When this video is recorded in about 20-30 minutes, there are links on the video to the, the course as well if you're interested, if it's right for you, if you've got the exam coming up in the coming months. Um, brilliant, that's it. What else? Just to let you know, on Saturday, so if you are on YouTube, right, subscribe and turn on notifications so you can find out about Saturday's video. 
on Saturday I'm releasing a video which is all about comparing and contrasting right in IELTS speaking we often have to compare A and B compare things compare people compare activities or places and even in part three we need to compare ideas right on the one hand we've got this but also a video comparing and contrasting I think you will like it that's coming up on Saturday um, so look out for that in the meantime keep on studying keep on practicing if your exam is coming up soon best of luck break a leg I hope it goes really well um, and I look forward to seeing you here again same ply same place same time same place <laughs> thank you so much for joining me right take care everybody all the best now Bye-bye.